The wealthy businessman hired a poor black woman to play the role of his fiance. Richard Bradshaw stared out of his corner office, watching the New York skyline stretch out before him. At 36, he was the head of a powerful real estate empire, the culmination of years of relentless ambition. Despite his success, his mind was troubled. Investors, particularly conservative ones, were growing wary of his personal life, or rather his lack of one. Being a bachelor was beginning to raise eyebrows, and in the corporate world where appearances mattered as much as profits, Richard knew he needed to fix that perception, fast. His assistant, Jonathan, interrupted his thoughts as he entered the room with a stack of papers. Mr. Bradshaw, the investors' meeting is confirmed for next month, but, Jonathan hesitated, a rare occurrence from the usually composed aide. But what? Richard's voice was sharp, masking the flicker of unease he felt. They've expressed concerns about your personal life. It's becoming an issue for them. Stability, family values, that sort of thing. Richard cleansed his jaw, his frustration simmering beneath the surface. He'd always thought his accomplishments alone would be enough, but it seemed even the most impressive portfolio couldn't erase the scrutiny of those looking for a more traditional image. He needed a fiancé someone who could make him seem settled and responsible, if only for appearances. Cancel my meetings for the rest of the day, Richard said abruptly. I need to figure something out. Meanwhile, across town in a cramped apartment in Brooklyn, Angela Jackson was running late for her shift at the local diner. At 28, life had thrown more at her than she'd ever anticipated. With her mother gravely ill and medical bills piling up, Angela had been working double shifts, barely making enough to cover the basics. Her 17-year-old brother, Darnell, had dropped out of school to take on odd jobs, trying to help out where he could, but it was never enough. The weight of responsibility sat heavy on Angela's shoulders as she slipped into her worn uniform and rushed out the door. Her day at the diner was no different from any other, serving coffee to rushed patrons, dealing with complaints, and scraping together tips. But as she wiped down a table near the entrance, a man walked in who clearly didn't belong. He was tall, impeccably dressed in a suit that probably cost more than her rent, and his intense gaze scanned the diner as if he were looking for something, or someone. "'Angela Jackson?' he asked, his deep voice cutting through the diner's usual din. Angela looked up startled. Yes? I'm Richard Bradshaw. I have a business proposition for you, he said, his tone smooth but commanding. Angela frowned, her heart racing at the strangeness of the situation. What kind of business? Richard gestured towards an empty table, and despite her better judgment, she followed him. Sitting across from the billionaire, Angela felt a surreal sense of disbelief. What could a man like him possibly want from someone like her? I need a fiancé, Richard said bluntly, someone who can help me present the right image to my investors. It's purely for appearances, and I'm willing to pay handsomely for your time. Angela's mind spun. This had to be a joke. Why me, she asked, her skepticism evident. Richard leaned forward, his piercing blue eyes locking onto hers. Because you're authentic. You're not like the socialites or businesswomen who would see this as a game. You have a sincerity about you that can't be faked, and that's exactly what I need. Angela sat back, her thoughts racing. The offer was insane, but when he mentioned the money, enough to pay off her mother's medical bills and secure her brother's future, her resolve faltered. What's the catch? she asked, narrowing her eyes. No catch, Richard replied smoothly. You just have to play the part for a few months. Pretend we're in love, attend a few events with me, and when the deal is done, you walk away with enough money to solve your problems. Angela's chest tightened. She had no reason to trust him, but the temptation was undeniable. Her family needed the money, and this might be the only chance she had to save them from the financial abyss. Okay, she said finally, her voice steady, despite the storm of emotion swirling inside her. I'll do it. Richard's expression softened just a fraction as he extended his hand. Good. We'll start immediately. As Angela shook his hand, sealing their unusual deal, she couldn't help but wonder what she had just gotten herself into. The world Richard inhabited was foreign to her, a place of power and deception where the money ruled everything. And she was about to step into that world, not as herself, but as the fiancé of one of the wealthiest men in New York. The next few weeks were a whirlwind of preparation. 
Angela was whisked away to high-end boutiques, fitted for designer dresses, and given a crash course in how to navigate the elite circles Richard frequented. She attended etiquette lessons, learning how to converse with wealthy investors, and was coached on every detail of her supposed relationship with Richard. They practiced their story, how they met in a small cafe, the whirlwind romance that led to an engagement, and the deep love they shared. It was all a meticulously crafted lie. Yet beneath the rehearsed smiles and practiced affection, Angela found herself watching Richard closely. He was distant, always in control, but there were moments when his guard slipped, and she caught glimpses of a man burdened by the weight of his own choices. She saw the loneliness that lurked behind his calculated exterior, and despite herself, she began to feel a strange connection to him. It wasn't love, at least not yet, but it was something. The night of the first major investor event arrived, sooner than Angela had anticipated. Dressed in a stunning black gown with Richard by her side, Angela felt like she had stepped into a fairy tale. The ballroom was filled with New York's elite, and all eyes were on them as they entered. Richard's hand rested slightly on the small of her back, guiding her through the room with practiced ease. As they mingled with the guests, Angela found herself falling into the role more easily than she'd expected. She charmed the investors, answering their questions with poise and sincerity, and they seemed generally impressed by her. For the first time, Angela felt like she belonged in this world, even if it was just an illusion. But as the evening wore on, something unexpected happened. Richard, who'd been playing the part of the devoted fiancé with his usual detachment, began to relax around her. He laughed at her jokes, and when they danced, he held her a little closer than necessary. Angela could feel the shift between them, and it both excited and terrified her. By the end of the night, as they stood on the balcony overlooking the city, Richard turned to her with a seriousness that took her by surprise. "'You are amazing tonight,' he said, his voice low. Angela smiled, still trying to shake off the adrenaline of the evening. "'I was just following your lead.' "'No,' Richard said, shaking his head. "'You are more than that. You made them believe. Hell, you almost made me believe.' Angela's heart skipped a beat. She searched his face, trying to decipher his words. What are you saying? Richard hesitated for a moment, his expression conflicted. Then, with a sigh, he leaned against the railing, looking out at the city below. I'm saying that maybe this whole thing, maybe it's not just a deal anymore. Angela's breath caught in her throat. She'd been so focused on playing her role that she hadn't stopped to consider her own feelings. But now, standing there with Richard, she realized that the lines between fiction and reality had blurred in ways she hadn't anticipated. "'What are you saying, Richard?' she asked again, her voice barely a whisper. "'I'm saying that I don't want this to end when the deal does. I want to see where this goes, with us.' Angela's heart raced. She'd been so sure that this was just a business arrangement. But now, with Richard standing in front of her, vulnerable in a way she'd never seen before, she wasn't so sure anymore. I don't know, Richard, she said, her voice shaky. This was never supposed to be real. I know, he replied, stepping closer. But sometimes real things come out of the most unexpected situations. Angela looked into his eyes, searching for any sign that this was just another part of the act. But what she saw was something raw and genuine, something she hadn't expected to find in a man like Richard Bradshaw. I need time to think, she said finally, her voice trembling with uncertainty. Richard nodded, understanding. Take all the time you need. I'm not going anywhere. As Angela left the balcony and walked back into the bustling ballroom, she couldn't help but wonder what the future held. She'd stepped into Richard's world thinking it was all just a performance, a temporary escape from her own struggles. But now she was beginning to realize that maybe, just maybe, this was the start of something real. But with so many lies between them, could they ever truly find happiness together? Or would the truth, once revealed, tear them apart? Angela didn't have the answers yet, but one thing was certain, her life would never be the same again. This story reminds us that sometimes the most unexpected situations can lead to personal growth and self-discovery. Both Richard and Angela started out with an arrangement based on lies, but through their journey, they realized the importance of honesty, vulnerability, and genuine human connection. Angela's strength and authenticity helped Richard see that life is more than just success and wealth. It's about relationships, trust, and love. 
In turn, Richard showed Angela that even in a world of luxury and power, integrity and staying true to oneself mattered the most. We learn that no matter the circumstances, honesty can turn even the most complicated situations into opportunities for deeper understanding and real emotions. It's a reminder that love and connection can blossom from the most unlikely places, even when things begin with deception or doubt. What do you think? Can a relationship that begins with lies ever turn into something real and lasting? Do you believe that people can truly change when faced with new perspectives? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.